Well, hey guys, welcome to our channel. If you've been here before, then welcome back. You know, every area has good things and bad things about it. And everybody always wants to know the bad things before they move somewhere. So today in this video, we're going to give you our top five cons about living in the Fredericksburg area. So stay tuned. So living in Fredericksburg, playing in Fredericksburg, um, if you want to hear more, subscribe to our channel. Yeah, so you never miss a video. We do a new video every week, and as much as we love doing those videos, we love even more helping you find the perfect house, the right location, the right neighborhood. We are Virginia Real Estate Agents. I'm Jeff Edmiston. This is my partner, Ruthie Buck, and we get these calls all the time, and we love helping people figure out where to live, what it's like living here. Call us, text us, send us smoke signals, email, doesn't matter. We will answer our messages and we look forward to hearing from you. So let's get right into it. Let's talk about our top five cons about living in Fredericksburg. What would you say is number one? Well, for me, I would say number one would be the traffic. Um, traffic can be quite a nightmare in the area. Um, Fredericksburg has grown so much in the past recent years that our, I feel like our highways just aren't supporting the growth that we've had. <laughs> Sitting here watching just car after car go yeah. by <laughs> where we're videoing. Uh, but Ruthie's right, you know, especially our, our ancillary roads that you know, go through and around the city, Route 3, Route 1, um, they can get very congested, especially in that mall area, uh, Central Park Marketplace area, mm -hmm. peak traffic, it gets very, very thick. 95 can be a nightmare. Sometimes you're in stop and go traffic on 95 and there's no discernible reason why that should be happening. So if you're moving here, especially from somewhere where traffic's not a problem, that's something that you just need to know about before you get here. Just expect it. Yep, because it's going to happen. I would say number two is our cost of living. So the cost of living here is about eight to 10% above the national average. So you can figure for every dollar you spend, in most of the country, you're going to spend 10, 10 cents more here, 10% more than, than the national average. Number three, cost of housing. That's um, quite a jump that we have compared to other states, other um, places. Um, it's a lot of people who come into the area are in a bit of sticker shock whenever they see the cost of living here. <laughs> Boy, that's right, especially if they're moving with some from someplace like Texas, because we're about roughly 25% above the national average in terms of our, of our cost of housing. So for instance, if you're buying a $400,000 house in mid Texas, you're probably spending $500,000 for that same, same house here. And yeah, Ruthie nailed it, right? Sticker shock is exactly, yeah. exactly right. What about our weather? Oh, okay. Well, the weather, um, a lot, some people may see it as a con in the fact that um, our summers are pretty humid. Um, so um, some people may see that as a con, but I'm a summer girl, so I like the heat. Um, I can deal with the heat more than I can the cold. Um, what do you think? I'm just like Ruthie. I love warm weather. I'll take a hot day anytime over a cold day. But Ruthie's right, some people just really struggle with humidity. So if you're coming from some place that's not really humid to here, you're probably going to think it's, it's humid here. I know I joked earlier that my brother, when he comes and he steps outside, he feels like he's been slapped in the mouth with the humidity because he just hates humid weather. It doesn't bother me. But the, the off, the, I guess the flip side of that coin is we have all four, all four seasons, yeah, right? We do. Um, it, we have all four seasons, um, but if you're coming here expecting to get a lot of snow, that could actually be a hit or miss. Um, just like this year, so far we haven't had any snow, um, but last year we kind of got hammered by snow. Yeah, so we don't get much, but sometimes when we do, we get get a lot. But we do get cold temperatures. We do. <laughs> um, I mean, I think earlier this year we were down to single digit temperatures back in January, I believe. Yeah, we're not cold compared to say Michigan or something like that, but we definitely, definitely get cold. We get all four seasons, we get some cold, we get the heat and humidity, which I love. So it just depends on who you are, whether it's a pro or a con. Um, what really doesn't depend on who you are is the crime rate. You know, this is something that a lot of people don't talk about and you really don't feel when you live here, for most people don't anyway, 
The crime rate in downtown Fredericksburg, the violent crime rate slightly higher than the national average, not a lot, slightly. The property crime rate's a good bit higher than the national average, but that's kind of interesting because Virginia is rated as the sixth safest state in the United States. Fourth safest for violent crime, 13th safest for property crime. Uh, I know I've been here a long, long time and I can't remember a time I ever felt unsafe anywhere. Any neighborhood, downtown, day or night, doesn't matter. But, you know, statistics usually don't lie and that's what the stats tell us is mm -hmm. the crime rate's a little bit higher here. So, you know, that's something that you just need to know, especially if you're looking at moving downtown. Yeah, and although those are the statistics, I, like Jeff, I mean, have never felt unsafe in this area. So those are our top five things that you should know before you come here. For some people, some of those things, like us with the weather, it's going to be a pro. For some people, it's going to be a con. You have to decide. We're not trying to convince you either way. We just want you to know what you wouldn't know until you get here. Know the facts. Know the facts. Know all the <laughs> details. And like I said, uh, another, another pro is we're your agents here. We can be your real estate agents here. Um, but seriously, we do get these calls all the time from people who are looking to move here. They have questions about where they should live, what it's like living here, what, what it costs to live here, all those sorts of things. If you have any questions at all about moving to Fredericksburg, about living here, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. Doesn't matter how you communicate with us, we will answer our messages and we would love to hear from you. And we will see you in the next video.